this particular production I've probably been working on since like about winter break. In total, there are about 100 costumes. I don't make all of them by hand. I mean, some of them, we get some stuff from thrift stores and sometimes we'll have to alter some of that. And then I have a really great committee who's been helping me make some of that too. Most people know this production very well, so they expect them to be, the, most of the characters to be costumed in a way similar to what they've seen before. Our first thought was to pick a show that the students this year would be familiar with. And we thought this one just had a really nice message. Oh, okay. Here we go. So my name is Kate Scally Howell, and I am the music director for our current production of Beauty and the Beast. And I also teach music here at the School for the Deaf and Blind. There's really nothing exactly like this that try to bring kids from the different communities together and have them work together and communicate together from the deaf community and the blind community and then um, kids just from the general community. What you see is in the beginning everybody is a little uncomfortable because no one really knows should I go over and talk to that person? Can I talk to that person? Am I going to offend somebody if I say something wrong? I, I just handle the music. That's my job. I'm supposed to teach the music to everybody and make sure they sound good. And then Luke is the director, so he really puts all the little pieces together. Uh, we have roughly about 20 pages. It's always a challenge when you bring people uh, from different backgrounds or different cultures into one space and um, try to have them work together. Uh, in this case, we've got people who speak different languages, which is yet another challenge. My name is Luke Howell, and I'm the director of Beauty and the Beast, and I work at the ASDB as well. We want to make the show fully accessible, and we yeah. feel feel like part of that and is entertaining. and entertaining. <laughs> if it's entertaining to people right. who speak That's English like and entertaining to people who speak American Sign Language, then it's fully accessible. I'm Fatuma Ali, and I'm a senior here in the high school at the Arizona School for the Deaf and Blind. And my role is Mrs. Potts. All right. I work with the partner and it's been hard because they're able to hear and then if I'm signing too fast and they're not where I'm at or if I'm not signing as fast as they're speaking and then trying to coordinate the timing on that. So that's been kind of difficult. Yeah, I love to dance. I love music, I like the rhythm, the beat, any of that. When you start, it's chaotic, and then it starts coming together as we go through the rehearsals. Hello, my name is Eva Maria Tenori. Um, I'm 12 years old, and I play Babette in Beauty and the Beast. Last year was my first time being in a production. Uh, I learned how to move around the stage and learn where things are and now I'm learning more how to put character into my character Babette. This way. So you lied to me? No, I wasn't. Yes, you did. Well, maybe a little. Lumiere, I like you this way better too. It's really fun because um, you get to learn about other people from the community. So if you guys trim right along the steps and try to match your shoulders, match your shoulders with the person to the left and the person to the right. I came here with the expectation that I was going to be working with blind and deaf actors and that it was going to be either completely similar or very similar to Beauty and the Beast. I was off. <laughs> this is much more lively. This is so much more, um, you know, filled with acting and character and charm. My name is Jonathan Leslie. Uh, I go to San Miguel High School uh, and I'm 15 years old and currently I'm playing a uh, speaking guest on. Up until now I haven't had any acting experience at all. But this, this acting experience has really allowed me to open up. Pumpkin, extend with me. I'm really excited for this to um, 
come together. And I'm also excited for next year because I love the experience and I, in all honesty, I want to come back here again. For the friendships I've made. I think during Tech Week everyone was a little panicked. <laughs> But I think that happens a lot during tech weeks in general. Um, and as always, you know, it's the magic of theater. It always comes together at the last minute. Last time we took one off because I couldn't take it off. It was like this. Yeah. So do you want it a little bit tighter so it'll stay up then? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait. And then I don't have to take it off. We've split all of our characters in half, and so we have an ASL version and we have an English version. And we've costumed them similarly so that the audience will understand that they're supposed to be the same person. When we brought the group together, no one really understood what the abilities of the other people in the room were. And pretty quickly they realized that everybody was pretty much the same.